I'm going to show you how uh, to flash the Bosch Motronic uh, ME75. I just took uh, one ECU uh, from my uh, bench and we're going to read the original software then make a remap and write uh, the remap back uh, into the soft into the ECU. And um, this is how the Motronic Bosch Motronic ME75 looks like. You can see it here. This is the casing, and you have four screws. One, two, three, four screws here. When you open it, it will look like like this. In order to be able to uh, read the chip in boot mode, uh, we will have to solder a wire on one of the pins. We will have to solder a wire on the second pin of the AM29F800 chip and you can see it here this is the second pin if you look further close here you'll see we have a soldering pad where we can uh, put the wire so this is the boot pin we have to solder the wire on, 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 on this pin I'm now going to solder the wire and that's it it should be attached the only thing remaining now is to connect the power supply and K-line to the unit the ECU will need to have a ground cable that's on pin 1 pin 1 is here if you look closer inside you will be able to see uh, the numbers on the pins so ground on pin 1 and then we need 12 volt power on uh, pins 3 and 62 62 it's on the second row down here this is the 62 3 it's the big one in the middle on the big on the big connectors here and then we have to connect the K line the K line is the green wire um, I will just find one that's also insulated and it's right on the top of the 62 we might also need the 12 volt uh, power on the pin uh, 21 um, this is the fourth pin from up here to the right so from the upper position here to the right the fourth pin that's also needs a 12 volt at least so now we connected the wires and I'm going to connect the boot pin the boot pin on some of the units would need to have a 1 kilo ohm resistor on some units um, it will be just a ground connection I have uh, soldered uh, 1 kilo ohm uh, resistor on my wire it's here just in case I need it I have connected uh, the wiring to the Kaleto I have here a power on off switch that we can use to cycle the ignition and uh, we will do an ID uh, for the unit and uh, check the uh, Bosch part number and the software version read it out uh, make the remap and then uh, write it back in and then uh, we have a car ready to go power is on 
output pin is on I have connected the 1 kilo ohm resistor this unit needs 1 kilo ohm in order to boot the boot pin is going to stay connected to the ground at all times many of you guys have this uh, chip uh, Galeto devices uh, you can use one of them uh, works okay I connected the uh, Galeto to my computer as you can see there is a low voltage I'm going to start the power supply it should click yes and show me the voltage first of all we need to select the driver the proper driver uh, this unit is uh, Siemens Invenion C167 and we are going to read it in boot mode to read it on the boot mode you have to take the unit out of the car open it on the table connect some wires a boot pin and then you are ready to uh, read it you can use the standard uh, cable that came with uh, your Galeto let's see how it's done first we have to select the driver we go to the tool boot boot mode C167 now on the Bosch ME7 uh, units <coughs> you uh, can have a you can have an AM29F400 chip uh, or you can have an AM29F800 chip this will read in K-line 512 29F400BB uh, for the small units and 29F800BB for the big units this depends on your car model make in our case this is a 29F800BB uh, chip so we select the correct driver and um, we will want to see if the ECU data is correct I'm going to use the toggle power switch on the ECU and we are going to read in our case we don't have to remove any fuse because the ECU is on the table and we have uh, direct power to it just press OK here and here you have the Bosch number and the software version in the unit then we want to read the file I have already made a test so uh, you will see uh, one existing file there we see read the file and then we say uh, then have save cycle the power for the ECU and then start reading the operation it's taking uh, just a minute or so and I'm going to skip through the process so we are at 93% uh, and four take a little bit longer than I said takes a little bit over 10 minutes now it's complete. Power of ECU. Uh, we go make a remap. In this case, I want to use this ECU. Uh, my microphone just went down. Uh, we are completing now the process. We're going to make the remap, and then we can write the file in again. In this case, I want to change the car. Uh, and reuse this ECU for another car so I will write a totally another software on, on the unit so I will have to open the file I will, I'm going to use this one for an AUD, Audi 18T AVT engine and I'm going to write this uh, this file uh, this file is uh, already done uh, the checksum it's calculated before and you can see the hardware number it's different from what I have here and the software number it's also totally different but as I said I want to use the ECU for another car now I've loaded the file power on the ECU power on then just say right flashing process started and when the flashing is complete we will have a new ECU new uh, ECU for uh, for the A, uh, A418T
AVT engine. So this uh, Bosch M5, ME75 can be uh, also interchanged. You can get an echo from uh, Passat and flash the software from an Audi or uh, get it from Golf and uh, make it for a Passat or, or the other way around. The only thing important here is that the version of the ME uh, is the same. Uh, in our case, uh, the unit I have here is a ME75. Uh, there are also some units called ME751, uh, old version, new version. Uh, the connectors have to be the same, the chip has to be the same. Uh, so uh, then we can, uh, we can make a swap. Flashing it's almost complete. And again, it took a little bit over two minutes. My mistake again. We are at the end. We will have to uh, power off and then power on the ECU. Powering off. Press OK. Wait for 10 seconds. On the bench, it, this is not so important because the power uh, will go out immediately. OK. Power on. And now we should see another hardware ID, another software ID when we read the ECU data. So we read the data. And we will see the hardware and the software part number have changed to the ones on the file. That's it. Thank you, guys.